Charles bowls ace ten under the gun. George plays king queen from under the gun plus two. So far so good. Now Mark is he on with kings, kings again. again? Yeah, so kings twice and ace king on this final. And jacks. She's at ace king. Of course he had ace king uh, last night as well, didn't he? Obviously lost the bishop's ten spot. Uh, <laughs> he does flat. The dealer announces raise. He was like, no, no, I'm flatting. I'm trying to let Taylor do something. And look at this, Taylor's thinking about doing something. George has raised. Guillaume's flat. And is Taylor going to take the bait? It looks like he is. Ah, he's a bit suspicious, just flat. Guillaume was getting excited there. <laughs> That's quite funny, isn't it? No, 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 I didn't, I didn't raise. And Marcus then with 9-3 suited in the big blind. Getting a great price here. Six million more. He doesn't want to go full way. In ICM consideration at stake here. We can see George probably thinks he's got the best of it against these two flats, but he's in a world of hurt against Guillaume's pocket kings. Yeah. Well, a queen jack eight flop, so Taylor oh, makes wow, top look two. At this. George top pair, and Guillaume with the over pair. So this is as action as the flops get. No player with a spade, though. I think George has bet 15. Imagine Guillaume just flats here. I don't want to over rep your hand by raising here. I have to be somewhat concerned about Taylor behind on this board texture. He does just make the call now. How is Taylor going to play this draw heavy board with bottom two pair? Right, once he calls, there's 90 million in there. And these guys have 240 behind. Yeah, I don't mind this at all, Simon. He's flatting. See in position. Yeah, he'd love to see, see a lot a of safe turn cards. And that's yeah. one of them. That's a very safe card. Now, well, George yep. checks it. Guillaume surely has to bet here. 90 in the middle. It's a good check from George there. Check. Wow. <coughs> well, I see Taylor betting here. I see George calling and I see Guillaume going all in over the top. Surely we're it's in a spot here where he's going to have to make this play. Well, yeah, he's only got, once he puts the 41 in, he's only got 100 million back and there's over 200 in the pot. So it's decision time for him. He's not loving this spot because the, the board's kind of coordinated and it has gone call, call on the flop and then Taylor has bet the turn when he could have checked back and seen a card and the original opener has then called that bet. George doesn't have better than him, so he's just worried about Taylor. Oh. Taylor's just so active. No way. <laughs> oh my word. That's, I'll tell you what, if that's a perfect read, that's astonishing. He just doesn't think Taylor bets the worst one pair on the turn. Obviously, he doesn't give him credit for bluffing on the turn. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to go. Check back call. Yeah, George hasn't got the same read of Taylor's turn bet. He's just looking at the sheer aggression Taylor's shown. Well, wow, there's a pot size bet back. How much does Taylor go for? Oh, he's Digging up against deep. Kind of he's up against here. Is that 85? 65, I think. Or oh, 75. 70. He's, okay. he's, yeah, he's betting an amount that he wants to get called. Well, that is some fold. With the Kings. Yeah, he's made the call, and I'll tell you what, Gwilym is going to be absolutely delighted with his fold on the yeah. turn. Huge plot for Taylor, catapult.